Hi, this is Zach Muir, editor of Spreadbet magazine. We'll look at some bulletin board hero stocks for Monday, the 1st of December. I'm starting off with Castleton Technology, where you can see that there's been reasonable progress here over the past uh, couple of months within a rising trend channel from the beginning of the year. Support in the first instance coming here at around the 10-day moving average of 1.75 pence. That's shown here in, in green. And uh, a little bull flag here above that. Top of the bull flag currently at 2 pence. If you're cautious on the shares, you wait for an end of day close above that before targeting the top of the channel at 2.5 pence. Otherwise, going long now with an end of day close stop loss just below the 10 day moving average would seem to be uh, indicated. Technically, uh, we have a multi tested RSI support line in place on the daily chart in the oscillator window uh, from the end of October, and that should uh, provide um, a positive momentum over the next few weeks. Uh, next up is uh, Kibo Mining, where you can see that um, we're making a sort of slow burn progress uh, within this broadening trend uh, triangle, which has been in place on the daily chart since May. Uh, this looks like a mid-move uh, bull flag uh, consolidation that we've got here just below the 200-day moving average at 2.2 pence, while there is the risk, of course, of uh, the latest uh, recovery attempt being capped by the 200-day line. Uh, the view here is that uh, there is... Um, Decent support here coming in above the 10-day moving average at 1.75 pence, and that's the end-of-day close stop loss for the bulls at the moment. Uh, the target uh, 3.1, 3.2 pence at the top of the triangle. If you are um, cautious about the shares, you wait for an end-of-day close above the 200-day line at 2.2 pence, uh, which would still leave plenty of upside in terms of the shares hitting their uh, indicated target. Uh, next up is Proxama, where uh, Looks like there's been a uh, decent uh, recovery here over the past uh, few sessions. Um, a particular note is the way that the shares have recovered the former December 2.5 pence low uh, just at the end of last year. That is a very encouraging um, setup in the sense that we've got a, a proper uh, yearly bear trap recovery. There's also a rising uh, October, sorry, a rising July oscillator support line uh, coming here. Um, running through around the 30 level and the RSI itself has pushed back above neutral 50 to stand at 55. Be cautious on the shares, maybe you'd wait for an end of day close above the 50 day moving average shown here in blue at uh, 2.7 pence. But it does look as though enough work has been done here for a journey to go back towards the 200 day moving average at 4.33 pence over the next month or so, uh, especially while there's no end of day close back below the 20 day moving average at 2.38 pence shown here in grey. Finishing off with the Strategic Minerals, which uh, is giving off some very exciting uh, and positive um, technical vibes at the moment. Uh, the main one is the way that uh, Friday's price action was wholly above the 50-day moving average at 0 0.38 pence. That's shown here in blue. Uh, the view now is that while there's no end-of-day close back below that uh, feature, we should head quite quickly towards the 200-day moving average at 0 0.66 pence. That's also the post-June uh, resistance zone as well. Best case scenario target over the next one to two months would be the top of the May price channel at one pence and uh, only really back below the floor of the channel at 0.33 pence or below uh, really outright negative at the moment. That's it from me. More updates at spreadbetmagazine.com.